The launch of the Dragon cargo spacecraft towards the International Space Station may go down in the history of space research as the beginning of a future interstellar navigational system. Along with fresh supplies, the Dragon is carrying a special telescope called the Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer, or NICER, that will look closely at these mysterious stars. They are small, about 15 to 20 kilometers across, but can contain mass of up to two of our suns, making them so dense that a teaspoon of a neutron star's matter weighs about 10 million tons. At those kinds of densities, we don't know how matter behaves. We don't know what matter is. So we don't know what neutron stars are made of. We don't know what goes on inside them. But neutron stars have another interesting and potentially useful feature. From their north and south poles, they emit strong X-ray beams. As they spin very fast, at constant speed, if those beams shine in our direction, we can see them as pulsating beacons. The extremely stable timing of those signals and the fact that they are in fixed positions relative to the Earth makes them similar to GPS satellites. In the experiment nicknamed Sextant, scientists will explore the possibility of using pulsars for precise interstellar navigation. Often you'll hear the satellites in GPS called the space segment, right? where the space segment for us becomes the pulsars themselves. Uh, so they become our atomic clocks. Uh, their signals are unique. Uh, they have a unique fingerprint, uh, and we're able to look at those and reconstruct those signals uh, and process them as measurements to update navigation. For future astronauts traveling to other planets, loss of communication with Earth would be very dangerous, so being able to accurately find their position is of crucial importance. The NICER Sextant project was developed by NASA in cooperation with scientists from the non-profit University's Space Research Association. It is expected to last for 18 months, after which the telescope will be open for researchers worldwide. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.